everyone. This is not... It's been, uh... I don't even know how long. I honestly cannot even tell you how long it, it must have been. I don't know, probably since summer that I've done a recording on my recorder. And of course, you already know why. It's Maxim score time again. Now, I will say, I will confess, I, uh, honestly have kind of gotten so, like, so far into the series to the point where unless I get any new games, there is basically no way that I'll be able to make anything new at this point, because I've attempted to do the micro-dash part of the hyper-dash once or twice, I think, throughout the last year. It failed, and, uh, anything else would probably be either impossible or just really, really boring. So I just decided not to really make too many more of these, but since I have at least one more game that I can play, I might as well do it. But this does mean that you're basically going to be listening to the same old, same old. It's going to be quite boring, but it is what it is. So I thought I might as well make it for anyone who who might get some sort of enjoyment out of this, and um, basically telling you that uh, I am uh, I am temporarily a little bit more active, as it were, because I have one week of break. So I've been working on a couple of ML things. I'm going to start working on something else that I want to post pretty soon uh, in terms of ML, but also there is one more project that I kind of have in my head that I might want to start. I don't know how I'm going to do it. It's probably going to take months of planning. I don't even know. Uh, we'll see how that goes. Um, I was kind of toying with the idea of maybe doing a stream sometime this weekend, maybe even more. I just don't have as much time as I used to, so I don't know how this is going to go. But for right now, let's do this. So, I'm going to be playing the Boppet Blast. Hopefully, this is going to work out quite well. Now, I have tried this with the coil before. It was, um, the sound quality isn't great on this thing, I will tell you this. So, don't expect this to sound very good, but hopefully, I'll be able to get at least 500 on one of the two modes. And then Lightbop, which is the third one. Well, I don't know about that. Um, as you'll see, when, when we get to the point, I'm going to twist it so you can hear my high score. I have no way of knowing if I'm going to get anywhere near that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play Beat Bop. If I manage to get 500 on the first or second or third or something try on Beat Bop, then I'm just going to skip Vox Bop because I really don't want to put you through even more than I have to. And instead, I'm going to play Light Bop immediately. And Light Bop, actually, uh, if you're very patient and you know what you're doing, you can technically do it just fine. You just need to be really, really attentive. And and by that I mean if you're thinking of someone like me who can't even see the lights. Uh, even when you cannot see the lights, this game is completely playable if all you need, if all you do is just wait. So, are we ready? I'm not really, but um, let's get started then. Here we go. Beat bop, box bop, light bop. Beat Bop!
it to keep going.
on one. Solo. Bok bop. Light bop. Bop it. Bop it. Whip it. Pull it. Pull it. Score. One hundred seventy three. Twist it. Bop it. Whip it. Whip it. Pull it. Pull it. Score. One hundred eighty two. High score, 475. Pop it! Pop it! Pull it! Pull it! Pull it! Pop it! Twist it! Twist it! Twist it! Pull it! Quit it! 
doing? Pull it! Pull it! Twist it! Twist it! Pull it! Pull it! Pop it! Twist it! Twist it! Pop it! Twist it! Pop it! Pull it! Pull it! Pop it! Twist it! Pop it! Pull it! Pull it! Pop it! Pull it! Pop it! Pull it! Pop it! Twist it! Pull it! Pop it! Pull it! Pop it! Pull it! Twist it! Pull it! Pull it! Pop it! Twist it! Pop it! Twist it! Pop it! Twist it! Twist it! Twist it! Pop it! Twist it! Twist it! Twist it! Pull it! Pull it! Twist it! Twist it! Twist it! Pop it! Pull it! Pull it! Twist it! Pop it! Twist it! Pop it! Twist it! Pop it! Twist it! Pop it! Pull it! Pull it! Pop it! Pop it! Pull it! Twist it! Pop it! Pull it! Pop it! Pop it! Twist it! Pop it! Twist it! Pop it! Twist it! Pop it! Twist it! Pull it! Pull it! Pop it! Twist it! Twist it! Pop it! Twist it! Pop it! Pop it! Pop it! Twist it! Pop it! Pull it! Pop it! Pull it! Twist it! Pop it! Pull it! Pop it! Pull it! Twist it! Score! Two hundred ninety eight! I was getting really close to 300, and then I somehow died. Yeah, uh, it turns out playing this game for a long period of time is difficult. I don't know if it's just I was thinking of other things at the time, I was like zoning out or what, but I kind of broke my concentration to the point where I accidentally twisted it a millisecond too early and it killed me. Usually, actually, the thing that kills me is when I try to go way too on beat, so I do the command right at the time where you're not supposed to, instead of waiting too long and not doing it at all. The game actually gives you a lot more time than I first thought it did, as you sometimes hear me basically hanging on by a thread. Uh, also, when it comes to me holding the game, it was a bit odd, but it wasn't very, very uncomfortable this time around. I was able to place the coil right on top of the bop it button where the speaker is, and basically press down on, on the coil to bop it. Wasn't too hard, even though that specific bop it button is the one that presses down less. I still didn't have too many issues with that. I figured out that the twist it for some reason twists better one way than it does the other way. I'm not sure how that is, but I had to twist it the opposite way in which I would naturally do to get it to work better. And then pull it was very sensitive. In fact, the first two times when I played uh, light bop, the reason why I died was because I uh, my hand hit the pull it sensor a little bit too quickly uh, for it like 
when it wasn't when the light wasn't on it so I died uh, pull it is one of the most sensitive commands on is the most sensitive thing command on the thing and yes uh, if you kept up with it as you heard I got all the way up to 475 not too long ago but I somehow messed it up right before I managed to get the 500 I don't know if anyone else who has played in this fashion has gotten 500 if someone has please tell me because that would be really interesting to know um, I certainly haven't yet, and I don't really know if I'm going to, to be quite honest, because a bop it is a bop it, and it's basically always the same, except when it isn't. Um, but at least this wasn't too hard to record, and also, you know, I kind of take back what I said about the sound quality not being very good. I don't know what happened, but now when I recorded it again and I put the volume down slightly, uh, it seemed like it worked a lot better than it did last time. Uh, just. Just FYI, I made a test recording, like a tiny little one, so it wasn't anything big. Um, so I was very uh, pleasantly surprised to hear the kick drum so much in the beginning of the commands like that. It sounded kind of cool, actually. Um, I, uh, I think playing the game with the coil connected sort of enhanced the experience to an extent. Although, I will say, um, you can very clearly tell that this game's DAC is either 8-bit or 7-bit or something really low like that because it crackles a lot. You can hear the crackling noises in very many sound effects. Most often the, s the speech, uh, you can hear it kind of make this crackling. If you listen very closely, the Bop It Extreme 2 does the same thing, but it doesn't do it as much. And so do some other games, but the Bop It Blast in particular does it very much to the point where you can notice very clearly. Um, now that I'm thinking about it, I don't have much else to say about this thing. I'm glad it works for now, that's why I wanted to get it done this quickly so that I could preserve at least the sound of it if nothing else. Um, I'm hoping that it's going to keep working for as long as I can uh, I, I have it around. And now it comes down to if there's any other Maxim score episodes that I could even make. I probably could make one on the fast fingers but it would it would be very um, it would be very like weird because the way in which I would have to do some of the games would have to change and yeah so that's that's gonna detract from my score but I guess for someone who hasn't ever 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 listened to someone playing the fast fingers it would be a an interesting thing although you know I might just make a games in greater detail recording about the fast fingers honestly instead also I've been having a great deal of fun with the gya well as much as I can with the games that I'm actually able to play um, that game is fun to a point, but it does get kind of frustrating eventually. Uh, unfortunately playing that with the coil is completely out of the question for a couple of reasons. One is that the speaker is absolutely tiny, so if I were to uh, hook the coil up to it, it would sound terrible. No, like, I'm not kidding, it is really bad. And also, uh, it would make it really difficult for me to actually orient myself in the proper way when I'm playing the game and I, I would miss inputs, I'd miss the ability to press all the buttons in ways that I normally could because of how this thing is shaped. So the gya is kind of a no. The pocket simon is a simon and also it's one of the few things that I actually cannot coil because of the way it works because those piezos don't actually... Like there's there's a bunch of holes on the back that, ma that are meant to look like a speaker but the piezos are not coilable if that makes any sense. Um, and then there's, let's see, I'm trying to think. The other Simon Micro is kind of useless because, you know, it's a Simon Micro. I don't mean useless as a game, I mean useless to coil, to make a recording of. Um, the Bird Brain, I technically could coil, I suppose, but I wouldn't really be able to give you the full experience of what it's like to play because because I'd be fumbling a lot and it would be constantly yelling at me, wake up, that phrase is gone. Uh, I don't really know if I want to subject you to the bird brain's annoying voice for that long. So there's that out of the way. Uh, I could probably do a run of me playing the Fix the Mix, but coiling it? No, I don't think so. The Fix the Mix, by the way, goes up to 50,000 points. It's insane. I once got up to, I think, 5,000, and it took me about 15 to 20 minutes. Technically, you can go faster. There's ways to do it. Um, you just have to be lucky and Something tells me there might be some sort of pattern going on with those, but I don't really know if I'm going to take the time to research that. Um, steer crazy, I guess I could, but like, why? <laughs> uh, truth be told, I haven't ever powered on the steer crazy since that one time in the box recording, and uh, I don't really know if I want to, so I guess I could do that, but... Uh, and I 
think that's all the games. Oh yeah, the mini wizard. The mini wizard, I'm sorry, but I I would rather not coil that thing because all that's going to do is beep and it's like really, really boring. I guess maybe I could try to coil the pop it go while I'm playing, which, hmm, that's an interesting idea. I might think about that actually. We'll see. Uh, if any of these are still like at all interesting to you or you have anything else that you might want to uh, you might want to suggest me do while I have the time, especially when it comes to electronic games, feel free to tell me. Oh yeah, another thing that I might want to do is to uh, make some sort of recording of doing uh, Beat Simon on the Simon Sticks for a long time, but again, that's going to take a very long time and it's going to require a lot more concentration than I think I might have right now. Mm. We'll see. So there's there's a couple things I guess I could still record, even with the coil, but even without it, I could probably make recordings of things, uh, explaining what they look like, how they work, everything like that. And as I've said, I've had I have a, an MML project in the works, as well as uh, another project that is much bigger than that that I want to do something with, which is probably going to take a lot longer to get started because I need to uh, actually think it through on how I'm going to do it. Uh, that'll be interesting. I'm telling you right now, this project that I'm thinking of is about electronic games, so uh, I guess for those of you who uh, watch my channel for electronic game content, that'll be fun for you guys. Um, I'm just trying to think if there's anything else that I could do. In terms, as I said in the beginning, in terms of live streaming, I have thought about it. I don't really know if I'm going to do it or not, and when it is that I'll be doing it, but um, it is a possibility. Actually, you know, that might up be, that might be up for uh, conjecture. I might be able to ask you guys, what do you want? I mean, I know one person who uh, who um, uh, has already asked me if I was going to do a stream on something, and I was tentatively agreeing on it to a point, but I don't know if there will be enough time for me to actually do anything like that. Something tells me no. Anyway, for that one person who might have watched the video, you know who you are. Otherwise, it doesn't matter. Anyway, that was that. I hope you or someone I don't know who has enjoyed, and until next time, I will see you guys. Ta.